So my name is Stuart Manning. Um, I'm Managing Director of Shockley Services Limited, who are a specialist contracting uh, company um, who um, work all over the world, spraying concretes of various types. This demonstration today is to show you the basic types and differences between the spraying processes that we have within our industry. We're looking first of all at the wet process, then we're going to move on to the dry process, and then we're going to finish with some uh, waterproofing uh, spray applied uh, membrane systems. So um, when we start our, our wet process demonstration, um, we will start by putting a rebound ramp in. The idea of the rebound ramp is to prevent um, the stones and, and aggregate um, leaving itself behind the bars and causing encapsulation issues. And once you've seen the uh, rebound uh, ramp constructed, we will then fill the panel uh, from the bottom up, um, encapsulating all the steel as we go. Once the steel has been encapsulated, um, we will then um, lightly spray over the surface of the reinforcement um, to give us a, a full in, in, encapsulation of the, the reinforcement. Um, once that's done, we will start overfill the top section of the panel and we'll move on to the finishing operations. Um, and we will see then uh, the, the different types of finishing that we can do, the surface finishes of our concrete. The top section will first be screeded. This is the basic shotcrete finish. Um, it means it's to line and to level uh, and is acceptable for cavity drain systems in basements. The guys will then uh, float the surface of this to uh, give it a smooth texture. And this smooth texture is much more appealing and aesthetical um, and can be painted over and, uh, and often left as a, as a standalone finish. Once we've done that, we will move to the dry spray system. And in the dry spray system, we utilize a bag of material which is um, blown to the, to the nozzle under, uh, under air, and we add water at the nozzle. And uh, you'll see that this process is a much slower process, lower output, um, slightly more dusty, um, but ideal for, for concrete repair operations. You'll immediately see the difference in output and physicality of the two processes, with the wet process being used for heavy filling operations where we're looking at very high outputs and large volumes. Once we've looked at both processes, uh, the panel will then be sprayed with a waterproof membrane um, using a similar uh, machine to the dry process machine. And this then um, uh, uh, allows us a spray, spray applied waterproof membrane, um, often used in, uh, in tunneling or in basements for tanking, um, and uh, is a cost effective way of um, waterproofing large areas. Once we've uh, seen, seen those three processes, um, we'll go and have a look at the machines and look at uh, the different types of machine and, uh, and how they convey the material to the nozzle. Um, and then I'll take any questions.